I wanted to respond to a video that came out yesterday that I saw from uh, Jay Vincent. In that video, the video was called something like Why Plant-Based Diets Are Horrible. And he, I was really disappointed because I, I like a lot of his content and he made an argument saying that it's because it's too hard to get enough protein and he was arguing that you'd have to eat so much broccoli and rice in order to get enough protein that it wouldn't be effective. And um, so, first of all, I, I don't know if he doesn't understand what a plant-based diet is or if he was setting up a straw man to knock it down because uh, so I wanted to make a couple points. First enough, yeah, it's easy to get enough protein, but you're not necessarily going to do it ah! to use broccoli and rice. That's like the, uh, the um, a lot of these celebrities that one day ah! say, oh, you put on all that muscle in a few weeks or a couple months or something like that. They say, oh yeah, chicken, broccoli, and rice. And uh, what, because they don't want to say they've been on... It's enhancing drugs, but they're real. Realistically, if you wanted to eat the broccoli and rice, and you throw some edamame on there, all of a sudden now you've got a much higher protein meal, and that's really the way that you do it with anything. Is that if you feel like you need to get more protein, then you probably want to add more uh, legumes to your diet, which is things like edamame, uh, tofu. Uh, any, any other kind of bean, chickpeas, lentils. Uh, you can also add more nuts and seeds as well. Um, that's pretty basic. Um, so the other point that I would make is that most Americans get, based on what I've seen, close to twice the recommended amount of protein that they should be getting according to the World Health Organization. Um, and taking in that much protein beyond what you need, uh, protein cannot be stored as protein in the body the way your body stores uh, carbohydrates as glycogen. So either it's going to have to be converted to fat or it's going to be fleshed out of the body which just puts an additional strain on the kidneys that you don't really need. And animal protein is going to put more strain on the kidneys than plant proteins. Um, also, if your goal is to get huge, no matter what, at the expense of your health, then I guess this argument doesn't apply. But a lot of us have gotten into working out and lifting weights and doing whatever other exercise that we do as part of an overall routine to stay healthy and your risk for disease, uh, diseases that most people are going to die from, things like heart attack, stroke, diabetes, uh, various cancers, is going to be much, much higher on a diet that's high in animal proteins than on a plant-based diet. In fact, they've used plant-based diets uh, in experiments to reverse diabetes, to reverse heart disease. Um, and then also I'll say a word about uh, protein quality. Uh, I did a couple of videos on protein quality, and, and this is a, not an argument that that Jay Vincent even mentioned in his video, like I said, I was kind of disappointed uh, because his his video was really simplistic for the kind of stuff, relative to the, to the kind of stuff that he usually does. But uh, I did a, a video where I actually read uh, a couple videos where I read several pages out of a book called The Future of Nutrition by T. Colin Campbell, where he talks about the the history of how they came up with the ideas of um, what we call, you know, high quality or low quality proteins and stuff like that. And it's really, those things are really based, 
it, it's a little bit pseudoscience and it, at the best it's at my most generous, I could say that they're based on unproven assumptions, meaning that yes, animal protein uh, has an amino acid profile uh, that is more similar to that of our own tissues, but they're making the intuitive leap to say, therefore, that's a good thing, which the evidence is not there to say that it is, because as long as you're eating a variety of whole plant foods, you're going to get enough protein, of, uh, enough of all the amino acids, and uh, and your your liver is like a a wizard as far as being able to store and combine these amino acids in order to uh, give your body what it needs when it needs it. So your body's a lot smarter than what a lot of people give it credit for. Um, and then I, I wanted to make another point here too, which is people always think, okay, well, if I need to build muscle, then I need to eat more protein because muscles are made out of protein. And uh, part of this argument uh, was one that, that Mike Mincer addressed, which was that he was saying, well, your muscles are actually have more water than they do protein, but I'm not advocating that you drink gallons and gallons of water every day. And the other thing is that your muscles are made of a certain amount of protein and, of course, a certain amount of water, but how does your body do that? It needs energy to go through those processes of building a muscle. And that energy comes most efficiently from carbohydrates. So it's not that you need to have this super high protein diet. You need to have a diet that has adequate protein, but also has an adequate amount of calories. Now, if you're to be on a plant-based diet, then you need to make sure you're getting adequate calories and if you're eating a lot of very low calorie kind of uh, plant foods that you may have to eat a lot but of course there's higher calorie plant foods too i mean whether you're talking about stuff like avocados or uh, i mean i don't shy away from you know having a few tortilla chips or wheat thins uh, you know, I put, uh, I put flaxseed in my oatmeal, you know, so, or, or, you know, I take peanut butter and jelly sandwiches to work. Uh, so those uh. things will all give you more calories as well, as well as a, a little extra protein if you think you are lacking. So, um, so it's really a balanced diet, having enough, enough protein for your body's needs uh, for building tissue and repairing, but also enough energy, uh, which, you know, most efficiently is used in the form of carbohydrates. So I, I don't really understand. I, I think that protein argument is misleading. But uh, so that's, that's about all I want to address on that subject right now. I just, I saw that video yesterday and I was like, well, no, no, I need to say something. And I, I did say something, uh, several of these points in the comments of that video as well. And on my workout here today, you can see I'm really trying to do everything under control. I managed to get an extra three reps uh, in what I think looks like pretty good form on my squats. My squats and, uh, uh, and the front squats. I'm really feeling it this afternoon, and uh, on the rep of squats, I was going to try and do a static hold and just keep pushing and pushing and pushing, and I actually managed to get that rep up, so I, I didn't really know if I could do it, I decided to just keep pushing, and if I was going to fail, I was going to fail trying, and so I'm happy about that. <laughs>